But what sort of companies, if you look around the, the, the business landscape yep. in the UK, what sort of companies stand out as particularly lacking a focus on sustainability? Where do you think, actually, I can make a difference? That's that's the majority of businesses. Okay. It's the sad fact. So basically, so you know, okay. there's only a f- handful of businesses in terms of how many are out there who can are. I just stop you there for the camera. By the way, for the business world watching this right now, <laughs> you are actually listening to one of the key proponents of developing sustainability in your business and beyond. Please listen carefully. This man's an expert. Right, so back where are we? <laughs> Thank you. That's right. So there are far more businesses who are doing nothing or very little when it comes to practicing sustain- in a sustainable But when you start, manner. do you have yeah. like a basic template? <clears throat> Six obvious questions they need to answer, which gives you an indication as to really their understanding or their appetite for change or the ability to bring their people together? Uh, no, that's interesting. Not so much because uh, I'm working with businesses who already know so they are sustainability focused businesses so whether it's a corporate sustainability consultancy which for those that don't know um, that's a consultancy that provides sustainability services to other businesses to help them achieve their emissions targets or help them save energy on energy costs every year whatever it might be comply with uh, carbon reduction legislation Uh, so i'm helping them to market their services better so they can do more of the good work that they're already doing Um, but in 2019 i'd like to start working with some environmental charities for example who are you know doing completely different work um, wherever in the globe whether it's to do with wildlife or ocean conservation so i don't have a prerequisite checklist of any sort for the businesses that I'm working with, but I generally prefer working with small to medium sized businesses where I can have more of an impact. So is it just you at the moment? Have you got a team of partners or do you outsource <clears throat> where required? Yeah, it's just me at the moment and I outsource where required exactly to uh, a trusted network of other, yeah, independent consultants, friends who are copywriters, graphic designers. Cameraman. Cameraman, exactly. Hey, all, the, all, the, all, all the important <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Actually, so what do you, you've been doing for how many years now? A sustainability consultancy. Oh, uh, my business. Yes. Oh, eight months. Oh, so really, yeah. you, you are in your infancy. Yeah, still. I started in April 2018, so I'm eight, eight and a half months oh, in. How exciting. Yeah. That's me. So I'm with more fears they were at the start. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So cool. I've been in sustainability for eight years. So I started at SeaWeb in 2010. Um, Will you, be, will you be, as you, as you obviously build your international expansion, will you be focusing on France and Russia, given your obvious language skills there? <laughs> is, is that something we expect to be, a, I think, uh, obviously in Paris and in Moscow soon? Or, uh, I think there's definitely a big market for being more sustainable in Russia in particular. So, uh, yeah, watch out. Well, I think that's probably in most places. I mean, <laughs> yeah, where would you say, if you were to look at a country now which gets most of the issues right within sustainability, what comes to mind? I mean, the UK is not doing too badly. Um, different countries are good at different aspects of, uh, of sustainability. Holland, for example, the Netherlands is, um, is quite forward thinking when it comes to uh, recycling and complete reduction of single use plastics. Like we're lagging in that respect. They've been doing amazing initiatives over there for a while. Um, you know, America's got a long way to go because they've been doing some fantastic stuff and Donald Trump's overwritten a lot of it, um, so that hasn't really helped them. I know I'd be kind of Donald Trump, by the way. I'm not sure your view on the subject. Okay. I think Donald Trump's actually a disaster in some ways for America. Yeah. I think they are progressing in spite of him, not because of him. And I think when the economic cycle turns, will happen in a year or two, mm-hmm. we'll see quite what he has to offer. Well, so, something interesting that happened was when he um, when he decided to pull out of the COP21 Paris Climate Agreement. <clears throat> this this great thing happened uh, online between lots of businesses signing a pledge to increase their efforts in what they were doing to negate any you know any effects of the states pulling out of the agreement. So uh, he kind of galvanised climate action in in a way. Mm-hmm.